Jared Poland Fronos Photo. Dot com and in this video I'm not reviewing camera gear I'm actually reviewing three different Segway 9 bot kick scooters because I was interested in finding one of these electric scooters to go from my loft to the fro factory so I don't have to drive there and try to find parking during this lockdown now the reason I decided to make this review is because in my research of the Segway 9 bot kick scooters I couldn't decide between the ES4 or the Max. Now the ES4 is slightly smaller and the Max is a lot bigger, but I'm going to go over the full details and specs of this and the rideability and which one I think you guys should get. But when I did my initial research, I couldn't find a video that said, this is the ES4 and this is the Max and here's why I like this one over this one. I found this versus other companies, I found that versus that, but no, nowhere did I find the three different segues that, that were up for review to help me decide which one was the right one for me. Now the reason I looked at the ES4 as well as the Max is that they are priced very similarly. Now pricing may vary and it changes from time to time, so depending on what it says on their website versus Amazon, obviously that's the price that you can pay. I found that Amazon has less expensive pricing. So if you decide on the ES2, which I'm going to talk about, the ES4 or the Max, you can click the links down below. Those are my affiliate links to Amazon. And that helps me continue to make the reviews. Because I couldn't find any comparison videos on YouTube, I decided that I would reach out to Segway and ask, could they send me a Max as well as an ES4 so I can put them side by side, ride them both, and then make a video review review to help other people who might be interested in these two models because like I said sometimes they're as much as or as little as $30 or $40 in price difference and that isn't that much so when you're trying to figure it out I couldn't get the answers so I'm going to try and supply you with the answers based off of this review. Now, Segway also decided to send me a limited edition ES2 in white that is up on Indiegogo or some site. And I'm gonna go over the differences between the ES2, the ES4, as well as the Max. So before I jump into the specs, I wanna tell you what it's like to set it up. So what you can expect when you get it in the mail. It is pretty simple to set up, whether you get the ES2, the ES4, or the Max, they set up basically the same way. You have the base, the bottom, the wheels, the back, battery, all of that's already attached. The only thing that's not attached are the handlebars. So there's one connection that you need to make. I don't have B-roll of this because I did it on my own before I was shooting B-roll because I didn't know what I was doing yet. So what you do is you connect the wire and that's the only wire you need to connect. Then you put the handlebar into the the, the shaft, well, yeah, the handlebar into the shaft. That's what we'll call it. You line up the holes, you put the screws in there. It comes with a tool so that you can tighten the two screws on the left, the two screws on the right. And then with the max, there's, I believe, two on the, the left, two on the right, and two in the back or the front and you screw those in. Now you want to make sure that the light is facing away from you because the headlight is supposed to be the headlight and it faces forward. Now I will tell you that the tool that it comes with, you do have a potential of breaking it if you over torque and over twist. Now that's something I saw that other uh, reviewers were talking about. So I made sure that when I twisted it, I either put two hands on it or I didn't over twist it at the end so that you over torque and then like rip it off and no longer have that tool but it's a pretty readily available tool that you might have uh, around the house if you need to go ahead and do that if you break that. So just be careful when you're putting it together. But it is really easy to put together right out of the box. And then what you do from there, you charge it up, you connect it via Bluetooth, it registers, and you're basically set to ride. So now that we got the basic setup out of the way, let's take a look at the differences between the ES2, the ES4, and the Max. Now, like I said, I was more interested in the ES4 as well as the Max, but they decided to send me the ES2 as well, and I'll tell you who that's for by the end of this video. Now, with the ES2, you just have the battery in the shaft. With the ES4, you have the battery in the shaft as well as an extra battery that helps give you extra speed and extra distance, and in the Max, you have a massive battery in the board of the scooter. So with the big battery comes big responsibility, but more so than the responsibility comes 
weight. So let's go over some of the high level specs. Uh, over on the Segway website, they have a good comparison between the ES2, the 4, and the Max. So you can see that the ES2 is going to go a max speed of 15.5 miles per hour, where the ES4 will go 18.6 miles per hour, and the Kick Scooter Max will go 18.6 miles an hour. Now, of course, that is dependent upon how heavy you are. Is the wind blowing at you? Is it at your back? I've been able to hit 20 to 21 miles an hour, depending on if I'm on a slight downgrade. So I've been able to do that. Now, I do want to remind you, this is a public service announcement, that if you are going to ride one of these scooters, please consider wearing a helmet. You should always wear a helmet when you are riding and take other safety precautions. Whatever you need to do, please be safe when you're riding one of these scooters. So let's continue down here and see how far you can go in terms of distance. The ES2 will go 15.5 miles on a charge. The ES4 will go 28 miles on a charge. And the Max will go 40.4 miles on a charge. So you can see the difference between the two, the four, and the max. With the two, you don't have any external battery showing. It is just there in the shaft. With the ES4, you can see the additional battery that gives you extra time, and it's actually placed in a pretty good spot. And with the max, you have a massive battery in the base, which you know, the extra weight gives you some nice stability when you are driving. It just also adds extra weight, and I'm gonna tell you the weights in just a second. But let's talk about how you charge the units. Now, the ES2 and the ES4 basically have the same charger. You plug it in, it charges up three, four, five hours, depending on how far down you've driven the battery. Now, with the Max, you have a just a power cord. The power cord goes into the wall and the other side goes right into the side of the Max and charges it. You don't need to carry around a brick or anything like that. And the ES2 and the ES4 brick, it really isn't that big, but with the Max, you don't have to have a brick at all. You just have the cable. Now let's talk about overall weight. The ES2 weighs in at 27 pounds. The ES4 weighs in at 30.8 pounds. And the Max is maxi at 41.2 pounds. They are heavy. Now, you can see me trying to lift the ES2, and being that I'm super duper muscular and strong, I'm able to get the ES2 over my head without a problem. I was able to do the same thing with the ES4 that is much heavier though at the 30, almost 31 pounds. It's a consideration to keep in mind and the max is 41 pounds and it's also heavy and it's a little more awkward to carry based off of how the neck, the, the, the shaft folds down when you're trying to take it with you. So you could see that it's much heavier and a lot harder to get over my head, but this isn't a strongman competition and it's not about how many reps you can do with it. It's about considering if, do you live on the third floor? Because currently I live on the third floor. So getting a scooter up and down those stairs, you know, is a consideration. Are you somebody who's smaller and lighter and you may not be able to pick up something that weighs 41 pounds? Those are considerations that you have to keep in mind. I like the weight in the Max when I'm riding it, but I don't like the weight in it when I've got to lug it up and down the stairs. Since we're talking about the weight and carrying them up and down stairs, let's talk about how they fold up. Now, another thing I couldn't figure out was how to fold up the damn thing once I set up the scooter. It's really easy to set up and break down once you know how to do it, but I had to dig into reviews to find someone who just simply said, this is how you do it. There was no information that I found on the website from Segway or in the information that they included in the box. So I was, I was like, well, how do I break this down? I don't know how to break it down once you set it up. Let's start with the setup. The ES2 and the ES4 are for all intent and purposes the same when you set them up. You press down on the rear fender, it unclips from the shaft, and then you just bring it up and snap it forward and it clicks into place and you're good to go. Now, when you go to break it down, there is a little switch that you can pull down from the shaft and then it says step here and push forward. Now, you, you don't want to do that when you're riding because it could, you know, collapse on you. Now, you, you won't run into that if you just move this forward. I never once put my foot onto this thing and was like, yeah, I'm just going to rest my foot right here because that wouldn't be smart and wouldn't be a good thing to do. What you do is you step there when you stop, 
you press forward, it unlatches, you lock it down, and you basically are good to carry it. Now the ES2 is easier to carry because there's no extra battery and you can put your hand there in an area where it could be balanced. I would like to have seen some sort of handle that makes it easier to carry, but it's not there. The ES4 is a little more precarious to carry because you have to put your hand between the base of the shaft and the battery, so my hand would like rest against these screws and then I'd get some impressions in my finger and it's a little more awkward to carry with one hand, but then you have that. So setting up the Max is pretty easy. You just pull the shaft up, you go ahead and you clip down on the one lever that locks it in, and then you have a safety lock that slides across and then just locks in. To break that down, you move the safety lock, you open up this lever, you lock it down, you, you move it down, and then there's a little clip. This was super awkward the first time I did it. I didn't know how to, to lock it in, but that little clip seats on another clip onto the, the fender in the back, and now you can carry it around. There was one time I tried to carry it and it wasn't fully latched and then it opened up on me and just luckily I didn't hurt myself. So they're real easy to set up and break down. It's just quicker to do the ES2 as well as the ES4. Moving on to shock absorption. The ES2 and the ES4 have shock absorbers. They have a shock in the front and then the board has shocks in the back. So when you're hitting bumps, you don't feel them as much because they have shock absorbers. Now the Max does not have shock absorbers. I would have loved to have seen that to give me a smoother ride, but you already get a slightly smoother ride with the Max over the ES2 and the ES4 because you have 10 inch pneumatic tires, meaning you can fill them with air. They are also puncture resistant and self-healing up to a certain amount of uh, puncture it will self-heal from. Uh, now the, the wheels on the ES2 and the ES4 are basically rubber attached to the plastic of the wheel. So you don't have to put air in them, but they're also smaller at eight inches versus 10 inches, which, which means you're gonna hit some bumps, you're gonna feel that a little more, but that kind of is compensated with the shock absorbers. I like the feel of the ES4 when I'm riding it. I like the feel of the Max. It just rides nice and heavy, plus you have a bigger board to stand on, uh, which is, is nice. But I didn't think that they, for me, I don't have the biggest shoe in the world, like 10, size 10 shoe, maybe 10 and a half if we're lucky, but that wasn't a problem for me to stand on either of the boards and get the giddy up speed going to the max speed that I needed it to go, and it didn't feel like a problem. Another difference between the ES2, the ES4, and the Max is that the ES2 and the ES4 have nice LED ground lights. So in the dark, or if you're riding at night, you can set the lights to different colors. They can pulsate, they can do the kit thing from, I don't know if they can do the kit thing from Knight Rider, but it's cool that you can change the colors, and when you're riding down the street, you have LED lights that could be purple, could be green, could be whatever you would like them to be. They also have a rear brake light that lights up when you hit the brake. Now, the Max only has reflectors on the back. I would like to see full operational brake lights, but that's what you get when you hit the brake on the ES2 and the ES4. Let me jump in here real quick and say, if you're looking to purchase the ES2, ES4, or the Max, and you found this review and comparison helpful, please consider using my affiliate links, which are down below to make a purchase on Amazon, because when you make that purchase, it gives me a percentage of the sale, which helps me to continue to make these reviews. Now, let's get back to the review. Now, the first time I used the ES4, I hit the throttle and it didn't move and I couldn't find out why. There was no explanation in the user's manual for how to go. You figure you just stand on it, you hit the go pedal, and you go. Now let me explain how you do go. On the right hand side, there is a lever that you just press down and that controls how fast you're gonna go on the ES2 and the ES4. And with the brake, there's two ways of braking with the ES2 and the ES4. One of them is a left brake, it's an electronic brake. You hit it and then it's supposed to stop. Uh, it doesn't exactly stop very well. Then there is a stomp brake on the back that if you get good enough when you're riding, you can hit the regular electronic brake, but you can also stomp on the rear brake and that's gonna help you stop much faster. Now on the Max, you have a hand brake on the left-hand side, which works so much better when you're going from full speed uh, to wanting to stop. Now here's an example of the ES2, the ES4, and the Max stopping from max speed. I picked up a bunch of speed. When I hit the, the certain area, I slammed on the one brake, the electronic brake of the ES2 and the ES4, and you can see I blow right through the screen. It 
was not really stopping extremely well. It's not super duper fast uh, at stopping. But when I slammed on the brake on the Max, it stopped so much faster and so much quicker because I just squeezed on the lever and boom, it grabbed the tire and I stopped. Now, when I did stomp on the ES2 and the ES4 back brake, it stopped much better. But in terms of braking, the Max is the best at braking because you can just slam on the brake and it's gonna stop much faster than the other two. So that's something to keep in mind. If you need to react quickly to stop, you just slam on the brake with the Max, but with the ES2 and the ES4, you've got to use the electronic brake or move your foot around and slam on that back brake to help you stop, which then could send you off a little bit and make you a little bit more wobbly. Now to come back to the issue that I had where I wanted to go and I hit the throttle and it didn't actually do anything, you actually need to manually move yourself with it on to hit a certain speed. Now it's, it could be one mile per hour, it's not very fast. You just literally move your foot, scoot just a little bit and hit the go button and you start going. And by go button, I mean the throttle. So it's the same thing for the ES2, the ES4 and the Max. You need to get a little bit of speed up and it's not a lot before it will kick in, which is kind of good because you don't want to hit the throttle and then have it accidentally just go. So in terms of the speed modes with the ES4 and the Max, you have three different modes and you have two modes in the ES2. Now you've got just the regular mode, which will throw you at, I believe up to nine miles an hour, it will let you do. Uh, and then when you get into the faster mode, that's where you can max out at the 15.5 miles per hour with the ES2. With the ES4, you've got mode one, mode two, and then the S mode, which is S red, I believe the screen says, and that is your faster mode. When I first got the ES4, I stayed in the second mode and I maxed out at 15 miles per hour. When I got more comfortable riding and not hitting potholes and everything along those lines, I went into the faster mode because I wanted to hit the 18 and a half miles per hour, the 19 miles per hour, and as much as 20 depending on the slight downgrade that I was hitting. Now, one of the things I noticed with the ES4 and of course with the ES2, when you hit a bump, the shock absorbers make a k'clunk noise. It sounds like you're gonna break something. You're not actually gonna break something, but that's the absorption happening. It just makes a loud noise, a k'plunk noise when you hit a bump. You do wanna try and not hit bumps uh, manholes, uh, uh, potholes. Now in Philly, we got lots of potholes where I ride. You just wanna make sure you don't run over the stones and the potholes because those eight inch tires aren't going to absorb them very well. And you also don't wanna run over a curb. If you hit something, you may go flying off and that's why you always need to wear a helmet. If you have elbow pads and knee pads and maybe a jock strap, maybe you wear a jock strap when you're riding because that could come in handy. In terms of giddy up, which one gets you the most giddy up when you wanna hit the throttle? Well, the ES2 maxes out at that 15 and a half miles per hour. The ES4 and the Max max out at 18.6 roughly, theoretically. But like I said, you can go faster or depending on your weight and your size and the wind and the conditions you're riding on, it could go faster or slower. The giddy up, what I mean is when you hit that throttle and you're in the top mode, it does go. You get some nice speed fairly quickly so you can hit that max speed within a couple of seconds. So here you could see the fastest mode with the Max. It's just vzhoom. And the fastest mode with the ES4 is just vzhoom. It's really the same as the Max. And then I feel with the ES2, it's more like a Sunday drive, but 15 miles per hour, 15 and a half miles per hour, isn't really that bad. It's, it's pretty good. But if I had to choose, I would want it to go at least the 18, if not 20, maybe as high as 25 miles per hour, but that could get pretty freaky and pretty scary when you're riding on a street and there's other cars going around and you have to make sure you don't hit potholes because going 25 and dumping versus 18 and dumping is probably gonna hurt and get yourself damaged a little more. Here's something I noticed with the ES4, that when it's fully charged and I go out for a ride, I can get more zoom zoom speed than when it's down to say 30 or 33 percent. So what I noticed is one day I was riding and I came back and I had 33 percent battery life and I couldn't get past 17 miles per hour flat on flat ground. 
But the day after that, after fully charging it up to 99%, as soon as I went out, I was motoring at 18 to 19 miles per hour. So I was hitting 19 on the same flat ground with no wind like the day before. So possibly as the battery starts to drain, it may limit your highest speed that you can reach to conserve the battery. Now that's not a bad thing, it's just something to keep in mind because when I hit that 99% charge and took it out and I was at that 19 miles per hour consistently, I like that speed. You will find a kickstand on each one of these models, so when you're not riding it, it could just stand there and look at you. It's obviously easy to do a kickstand. You just kick at it and it stands there. And before you start riding again, you flip the kickstand out of the way and you go. Now on the front of each one of these scooters, you will find an LED light. It's real easy to turn on. You just press the, the power button once and the light will go on, press it again, and it goes ahead and turns off. Now I haven't ridden it at night because I don't exactly trust people around here or anywhere, so I haven't ridden it around at night, but the lights, their LED lights are very bright and it's nice that it's built in. I do like that with the ES2 and the ES4, you have the, the light up brake light, you have the LED lights that are colored underneath, so there's a better chance that people are going to see you, whereas with the Max, you don't have the ground light, the ground effects going on with the different colors, and you have the reflective tail light going on back there. So after riding around the scooters quite a bit, there's some things that I learned. You always want to make sure you have two hands on the handlebars. Uh, I found that with the ES4, if you removed your hand to like scratch your nose, you might lose control. You just have to be careful that you don't wobble and do this. Ooh, wobble. Ooh, play that wobble song. Uh, so that you don't wobble and, and then fall off. You want to keep two hands on it at all times. So that means that you've got one on the throttle, one with a brake, uh, the electronic brake, or with the max, you've got the squeezy brake, and you also have a bell, so when people are gonna get in your way, you can be like, bling, bling. Or when those bikers are going super slow on their bicycles, you're like, vroom, bling, bling, and it has a built-in bell. One of the things I wish these scooters had built in, I wish they had like a basket, a, a place for me to put groceries, a, pra a place for me to, to put my cupcakes when I go to the cupcake place. That would be a nice option. Instead, I have to wear a backpack. And so I have my laptop in a backpack, my keyboard, my mouse, whatever I need to go to the factory, I put in the backpack and I, and I ride. It would be nice to have that basket in front so that you could put whatever you need in there and it doesn't change the way that you ride it because it doesn't add weight or add any issues issues riding, rocking back and forth. In terms of build quality, they each seem to be built pretty well. I didn't run into any issues after riding 50 miles total with all of them where it felt like the thing was gonna fall apart. The only thing that I did mention earlier is that with the ES2 and the ES4, when you hit a pothole or you hit a, a bump or something and that shock clicks, you, it just sounds like it's weird. It just shouldn't sound, you, you, you figured that it would absorb it more than have a kerplunk noise, but it does make that kerplunk noise. But really when I'm riding and I'm moving forward, moving back, it doesn't feel like the boards are going to break on me or have any issues. Now I will say that the Max feels the most sturdy of all. It's the biggest, it's the heaviest, it has the larger tires, and it does have a super smooth ride to it. The ES4 has a very nice ride to it as well. I'm personally, like I was torn between the ES4 4 and the the max the es2 was just thrown in because it's basically the same as the the es4 just doesn't get go as far uh, or have the extra battery so i do find that the es4 does ride nicely the max is nice and smooth those 10 inch tires are nice it just feels like it's more sturdy and you have more ability to ride with it the max is more like what you would see if you rented a scooter on the street from one of those ride sharing places the max is more along the lines of what you would find out there in the wild the es4 on the other hand what i like about it is that it can break down and it's 31 pounds it will fit in your car much easier because trying to put these in the back of my car i could get all three in there the es2 super easy to lift into the car the the ES4 is easy to lift into the car if you can handle the 31 pounds, and the Max is going to take up the most space, and it doesn't fold down completely flat like the ES2 and the ES4. It just sticks up a little more because of the size of it. It just feels like you ride slightly higher. So I want to help you try to decide between the three that we're showing, the two, the four, and the Max. Let's just get the two out of the way. That's like 
the one that you get for the 10, 11, 12 year old. Maybe it's recommended for 15 year olds. I'm not sure what they recommend it for, but with proper supervision and proper helmets and all of that and the precautions, maybe you get one for your kid. But it feels like the ES2 might be a better thing for a a teenager, a young teenager, uh, because you don't want it to go super fast. You can limit it to the nine, I mean, you can limit all of them to go slower, but it's the lighter one that the kids should be able to handle much better. And also if they break it down and they need to carry it into school, not that they're taking it to school, or they need to carry it into a friend's house, it's easier to do that. And if they're smaller, they can manage that. So that one's more like grandma's scooter just because it's slower and it's like, hey, but it still will give you the 15.5 miles in distance and the 15.5 miles per hour, depending on the size and weight and the grade uh, that you're driving or riding on, whether it's going up or whether it's going down. So it's nice, but for me, the decision is more between the ES4 and the Max. They both ride very nice. I do think the Max rides slightly better, even going through the city here where I'm at, and there's a lot of potholes, not a lot of great sidewalks, lots of cracks, and not, not cracked, there's more heroin than anything, but that's been taken care of, that's much better these days. But you just, you know, you want the smoothest ride. Now, in my decision process between the four and the max, I, got, I take the weight into consideration. If I live on the third floor, do I wanna carry the max up and down every time that I use it? If I go to a restaurant, if I go somewhere with it, where will I be able to put it that I can, can I put it under the table and not have it be a problem? That's a little more difficult with the Max than it is with the ES4 because the ES4 gets a little smaller and you could put it in a corner, you could put it under the table, you could put it on the booth next to you. It would be a little easier to carry around. So they both ride very nice, but you're gonna have to figure out, do you need 40 plus miles of range? If you're somebody who's going five miles, you know, two and a half miles this way, two and a half miles that way, oh, by the way, I can make it to the factory in about seven-ish minutes as a straight shot, maybe six, depending on the stoplights and traffic. It takes me roughly the same amount of time with a car to get there because of the roads I have to take, and then you have to find parking. To get to another place uh, that I have, it only takes four minutes and 20 seconds or so straight through. So it's really fast to get that 1.6 miles or however far I need to go. It's not bad at all. But if you want to go longer distances, then of course the max is the one for you. You don't have to charge it as often uh, and it's going to go the furthest with the 40 plus mile range, depending on height and weight and, and all that stuff and, and the wind. So if you don't have to worry about carrying it because it's heavy and you can just roll it into your garage, then that is a nice option. If you live in the suburbs and you have smooth ground to travel on at all times, it's a very smooth and nice ride. So that is a very good option. If you're in the city, you have to take into consideration all of the potholes and everything that I've mentioned before, but you can ride it, it is very nice. If you want something smaller, the ES4 is a little less expensive. You have the rear lights, if you're gonna ride at night, that might be a better option, especially with the LEDs. So at the end of the day, the whole reason that I made this comparison was to help me decide between getting an ES4 or the Max, and I'm going to make that decision right now, and I'm gonna tell you that I prefer going with the ES4. Now the Max is good, it, it's very good. If you need to go a long distance, that's great, and you want more battery power, and you want it to be bigger and heavier, then that's a good option. But one thing that I ran into with the Max is that I started to lose some air in the tire, in, in the front tire, which then caused me to only go 16 to 17 miles an hour. And then it makes me worry, well, if I get a flat tire and I'm five miles away, I don't have a pump with me at all times. You're not gonna carry that around in your backpack or carry it around at all. That's just added weight and it's not necessary. So for me, I like the size of the ES4, the weight, even though it's 31 pounds and the other one's 41 pounds, that's more manageable going up and down stairs. It folds up much better. It's got the ground lights. It has the tail lights that light up when you hit the brake. The braking isn't as good, but those eight inch tires, would I prefer 10 inch? Sure, but they're not gonna go flat on me if I'm far away. So for those reasons, I'm gonna go with the ES4 over the Max. So I hope you enjoyed this comparison. Thank you guys very much for watching. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.